Hello and welcome to FIFA 13 and your hometown Swindon Swoodly Poopers. You see him right there on the far right, bald John Green. He made the transition. He found his way into a TARDIS-like device. He moved from one world into another, and he is going to help the 2013 Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers achieve their dream of no longer being in League One. Look at the beautiful county ground today. Chris Mumple is our referee. This is so incredibly exciting. All right, there is our captain. His name is Flint. We have a lot of new players. You're going to have to name all of them. I need your help. He has beautiful hair, Flint. I need your help now more than ever. Is he, the, you know, Fred Flintstone? I don't know. These things are, these are your decisions. I'm terrible at doing this. Um, but this is our team. You're looking at them now. We have Masanimalea. I think we might just call him um, Bob. Uh, P. Masanimalea. Um, there, there's a good song. Chelsea has a pretty good song about one of their players. Um, I think his name is Ash LaQuenta. Um, the song goes, we call him Bob. Or I don't know what they call him. It's something like Bob. The song goes, we call him Bob. We call him Bob. He's Ash LaQuenta, but we call him Bob. Um... So, yeah, you got, but everybody needs names. Everybody, except for Ball John Green, other John Green. And what? Who was in this space time twisting machine with them? Leroy Williamson, yes! Leroy Williamson has been resurrected and he is alive in FIFA 13. Also, his skills have significantly improved. Um, it's like something, this happened to Ball John Green and other John Green as well. There's something, something happened that made them better. Like, uh,. It's like they're their best possible selves. Um, so we'll see how it goes. We're up against Scunthorpe today. I'm pretty bad at FIFA 13. I've played a few games just, just to try to get some of the transfers done. But man, I do not know what I am doing. Um, so just prepare yourselves for a lot of bad defense. So here's, I need a lot from you guys. I need you to name the, the new players of whom there are many. Like right now, that's uh, Richie, M. Richie. What's his name? We don't know. We need to find out. Um, and then, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, they're just not good, at de not good at defense. Fortunately, I have that guy, Foderingham. Fetteringham? Um, he's on the real Swindon Town. I need you to come up with a name for him other than Wes, which is his real name. Um, yeah, so, like, there's a lot to be done. Plus, we don't just need names for these people. We need songs. Lots and lots of songs. It's a song-heavy thing. And then once we have songs, I need you to record them because we are going to integrate them into the game. But someone has to explain to me how to do that. Um, how is it that you can, f how do you use the user-generated or user-uploaded chance feature? Because we can't figure it out. So FIFA experts, people who get infuriated with me watching me play this game so terribly, tell me how to use that feature because I think it would be hilarious if when other John Green scores, we actually hear the other John Green song. Speaking of which, oh, it's off the post. Oh, that was a beauty. Wouldn't that have been great? The first goal in FIFA 13 from other John Green. Wouldn't that have been special? But instead, it's going to be, oh, another good save. That was a nice header, though. All right. We've got other John Green on all the corners because he's excellent. Oh, it's Paul John Green, but it's nothing. Oh, life is so hard and full of disappointment. So um, we, I need you to name the players. I need you uh, collectively to um, come up with songs for the players. And I also need you, um, you know, maybe, maybe even tell me some of the backstories of the players if you happen to know them. You know, if you have dreams about these, these guys and, and you, uh, you know who they are. Um, so, but let me just, I'm just going to real quick, going to show you, oh, but, 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 I'm going to show you the team so that you know everybody's name. This is our starting 11. We've got Foderingham in goal. Over there in right back, we have N. Thompson, uh, A. McCormick in uh, center back. Another center back is uh, Mr. Flint. And then we have Masana Malayla. And then we have uh, G. Roberts. We have Mr. Koch, uh, Mr. Miller, Mr. Ritchie. John Green, and, uh, of course, his husband, John Green. Uh, one of our backup center backs is uh, C. Stuff. Um, I mean, he names himself. Uh, Bostock, uh, McElvey, Leroy Williamson, inexplicably not playing today, um, despite being the best player on the team. Um, uh, that guy, I don't know how to say his name, Bedwell, and then, of course, Andy Rooney. Um, who I thought, did he die? Do you not know who Andy Rooney is? Meredith doesn't know who Andy Rooney is, so maybe we need to come up with a different name for him. 
Did he date Taylor Swift? She asks. Did he? Of course he did. Um, all right, here we go. I'm bringing in Leroy Williamson. Nothing like a first out substitution to, to cement the reputation of the FIFA 13 Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers as a well managed club. Plus, I just dribbled the ball out of bounds. It's like we're watching me and FIFA 11 again. Come on, Leroy Williamson. Show him what you got. All right. So uh, that's, the, that's the update on that front. We need names. We need songs. Uh, we, need, we need a club that we can love again. I mean, I'm just getting to know these guys. I, I uh, you know, in many cases, I don't really know much about them at all. Um, that was very strange, the way they, they made that decision. Oh, Scunthorpe. Um, you know, and I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know who I like. I don't know what 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 their interests are. I've just arrived at the club, and of course, it's a little strange. You come you come to a club. They've had Paolo Di Canio as their manager, who's literally a fascist. Um, and now suddenly they've got uh, their starting forwards are are uh, you know two 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 married guys. Um, and uh, but you know everyone at least so far seems to be adjusting well, and and our league form has been okay. I think we've. Uh, drawn one and and won one or something, um, so yeah, things are things are going fine. Uh, but I just I need to get to know these guys just like you do. Um, there is a topic for today's video. Oh, oh, that was a foul in the box. That should have been a penalty shot. You know who would have taken it? Leroy Williamson. Um, he does score occasionally, but um, oh, oh, he's free. Oh, get in. Oh, that would have been a beautiful outside-the-box bicycle kick goal. It would have been the greatest goal in the history of Swindon Town. But instead, no. Instead, we are struggling against Scunthorpe, and, and our defense is, is, is not getting back well. All right. So uh, the topic of today's video, for the next um, week or two, we're going to be doing videos that, uh, that have topics that were... Um, that were given to me by people who donated to the Project for Awesome. So if you donated to the Project for Awesome, um, one of the perks was that you got to pick the topic of a Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers video. And today's was picked by Andrew. That's right, Meredith, isn't it? And, and Andrew Cornelius' uh, video topic was, um, what do you do if you find yourself in a situation? Is it already halftime? That's, that, yeah. All right. It's halftime. It's nil-nil. Standard Swoodly Pooper nil-nil draw. They thought it would be better than going to FIFA 13, but they were wrong. We did it at the post. Um, but I don't believe that they give you points for that. A Andrew's question is, uh, what do you recommend doing if you find yourself in a situation where, um, like, for instance, if you wanted to uh, study medicine or, or have a career in medicine, um, but you find yourself in a situation where that's become impossible because of choices you've made in the past? Like, how do you reconcile yourself to those past choices and try to build, like, a life, um, a life that you're proud of and uh, a life that's fulfilling for you because you belatedly... Look who plays for them. It's D. Prutton. Um, but, you, you know, you, you didn't realize kind of what you wanted to do until late, later in your life, and by then it, it had become impossible. The first thing that I would say in response to this, with medica medicine specifically, is that there are lots of ways to be involved in medicine that don't involve, you know, like 11 years of graduate school um, and then a, a lengthy residency or whatever. Um, but that also, like, uh, medicine, even, even being a physician, it is a second career for many, many people. Uh, like, I had a friend from, oh, no, oh, Scunthorpe. Oh, Fetteringham, Scunthorpe. Oh, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Scunthorpe is just a great general exclamation, I think. I don't know what I just did. I don't panic. All right, everything's fine. Um, Scunthorpe. Yeah, I like it just generally. I mean, not even when I'm when I'm even when I'm playing other teams, it seems to have a certain ring to it. Go, Leroy Williamson. Leroy Williamson, you're faster than that and stronger. I'm disappointed in you. Maybe we aren't doing enough unnecessary slide tackling. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oof. Things are going a little hazy. So, like, the first thing I would – like, my friend – I had a friend for, in college, Abby, who studied, I think, uh, was an English major um, and is now a doctor, but, you know, didn't become a physician until she was in her mid-40s. And it's not – you know, that's not an impossible career by any stretch of the imagination. But with medicine in particular, there are also lots of other ways to be involved in it, including volunteering. Um you know, volunteering at a, at a local hospital or, um, or volunteering at a hospice, for instance, um, which is hugely important work. I mean, I, I, mean, I think uh, particularly in, in places like hospice, there's a lot of reliance upon. Um, oh, that's a foul in the box! Oh, I was offside. Mm. 
Oh, it's not my fault that, I guess, I don't know, maybe it's technically my fault. They probably know the rules better than I do. We got to find a goal here. Um, so, I, I, like, I, I think uh, one of the good things about the 21st century to me is that the specificity of what we do with our lives is a little bit um, less rigid than it used to be. It's possible to have uh, many careers and, and to have, you know, the primary way that you make your money not be not be a hundred percent of your career um or even you know 90 percent of or even 50 percent of your career um you know it, it, it doesn't like the relationship between money and work is a little bit more uncoupled than it used to be um and so i would say that y you need to find ways to to volunteer and you need to find ways to kind of get your foot in the door with whatever it is that you're interested in because then it becomes possible um you know, I think anyway, to, to do, uh, you never know what, you never know what job opportunities will arise out of that, um, you know, out of, out of those uh, volunteering or what, or, you know, whatever it is. Um, and that can be a really good way to find fulfillment. That said, there are going to be in any adult life uh, decisions that you sort of wish you'd made differently that you can't take back. Um, and to me, the way to deal with that is to understand that uh, if you'd made those decisions, there might have been X, Y, or Z that you wouldn't have liked. Um, and that it's, you know, it's hard to, it, it's very, very difficult to, um, to write an alternate history to one's life. Uh, the, only, the only day, you know, the only day that you have much to do with is, uh, you know, the ones that are now or in front of you. And, um, you know, there, there's a lot, uh, you know, I wish that I'd been a better student. I wish that I'd been more attentive uh, in school all the time. Um, I think that I'd be a better writer today and also just like, oh, gosh. Whew. Oh, Prutton. Thank you. That was good of you. Um, I believe he's a former Swoodley Pooper, by the way, from FIFA 11. So, but like an early, he was an early Swoodley Pooper. But I think he just has a little bit of a memory of his loyalty to the club. All right, that's so that that's basically what I would say. Um, you know, don't don't give up on your dreams just because there's a specific like there may be like a specific part of that dream that um, that is isn't feasible. Uh, that doesn't mean that you can't do interesting stuff or that like what you really loved about medicine or whatever it is is unavailable to you merely because you're not going to be a physician. Um, I, I don't think, I just don't think that's reality. Oh, speaking of reality, that really should have been really a goal, but instead it isn't. Ah, oh, schmerg. 90th minute. I mean, are the Swoodly Poopers seriously going to start off FIFA 13 the way that they did almost all of FIFA 11? It appears so. It appears increasingly likely. Yes, it's guaranteed now. It's a standard Swoodly Pooper nil-nil draw. New names. New FIFA, same freaking results. Best wishes.